Hello and welcome to the guitar chord lesson for the song Tutse Naraz Nahi Zindagi from the film Masoom. The song has been sung by Anur Ghoshal, the music is by Ardi Burman and the song has been written by Gulzar. The song is originally in G major and uh, there are just three chords which have been used for most of the song G, A minor and D. Uh, you can substitute G with uh, E minor in some places and you can substitute uh, A minor with C in some places but uh, pretty much they've used three chords G, A minor and D and if you're playing bar chords you could play them here G, A minor and D. Uh, the strumming pattern is very simple uh, I'll first show it to you with open chords and then I'll show you how you can make it interesting both with open chords and with bar chords so I'll play it for you first in the original speed and then I'll slow it down and I'll explain to you uh, the strokes that you need to know. So here's how it will sound in G major. I'll slow it down. So let me call out the stroke names for you. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. up. And in those strokes, if you can play uh, some of those strokes on the bass strings, so those are the strings closer to the sixth string, and for some of the strokes, play them on the higher string, it will sound much better. So if you could play the first down on the bass strings, the next down on the higher strings, and then the up down up on the bass strings again. So it should sound something like this. can do that it will sound very nice otherwise you can uh, just play the strokes which I showed you uh, with uh, all of the strings uh, that should also be fine um, if you can play bar chords you could add muting effect uh, to some of the strokes and make it a little more interesting uh, and it should sound something like this so all we are doing is we are muting the second down stroke which uh, instead of sounding like this, it sounds like this, where you lift the fingers of your left hand off the fretboard without letting go of the strings completely. So it should sound something like this. If you cannot do the muting, it should sound something like this. So now let me once again play those strokes very slowly so you can play along with me and then gradually increase the speed. Uh, to bring it to the original pattern. So here's how it will sound in G major. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So now you know the chords and the strumming pattern, let's try and play along with the song.
so as I uh, told you in the beginning of the lesson, there are a few places where you could substitute some of the chords and it will still sound fine. So for example, in the opening lines, uh, where uh, the chords move from G to uh, A minor, instead of A minor, you could play uh, C major or you could play a combination of A minor and C major. Uh, and I'll, I'll play both for you, it will sound something like this. So this was what it was played originally, you could play Or you could play both A minor and C In the entra of the song, you could actually substitute uh, G with E minor. Uh, so G is played uh, for the first two lines. You could actually play G in the first line and E minor in the second line and it will sound great. So you could play something like this. So I hope you enjoyed those uh, chord substitutions. Uh, it's a very uh, lovely number and it has very simple chords and I'm sure you'll be able to uh, sing and play along with it as well. So uh, thank you so much for watching this lesson and uh, see you soon.